Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Blessing for Monday, December 5th. Let us begin. God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, watch over us. Amen. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. A reading from Isaiah, the 24th chapter, beginning at the first verse. Now the Lord is about to lay waste the earth and make it desolate, and he will twist its surface and scatter its inhabitants. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the slave, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the creditor, so with the debtor. The earth shall be utterly laid waste and utterly despoiled. For the Lord has spoken this word. The earth dries up and withers. The world languishes and withers. The heavens languish together with the earth. The earth lies polluted under its inhabitants. For they have transgressed laws, violated the statutes, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore a curse devours the earth, and its inhabitants suffer for their guilt. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth dwindled, and few people are left. The wine dries up, the vine languishes, all the mercy-hearted sigh. The mirth of the timbrels is stilled, the noise of the jubilant has ceased, the mirth of of the lyre is stilled. No longer do they drink wine with singing, strong drink is bitter to those who drink it. The city of chaos is broken down, every house is shut up so that no one can enter. There is an outcry in the streets for lack of wine. All joy has reached its eventide. The gladness of the earth is banished. Desolation is left in the city. The gates are battered into ruins. For thus it shall be on the earth and among the nations, as when an olive tree is beaten, as at the gleaning when the grape harvest is ended. They lift up their voices. They sing for joy. They shout from the west over the majesty of the Lord. Therefore in the east give glory to the Lord. In the coastlands of the sea glorify the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. From the ends of the earth we hear songs of praise, of glory to the righteous one. A Commentary by Cyril of Alexandria By sea, he means the multitude of nations, and by coastlands, perhaps he means cities. All their inhabitants will raise their voices when the divine wrath comes upon them. But the majesty of Christ will somehow be in the sea, that is, in all those nations, and they will realize that it is through divine providence that they are destroyed and annihilated. They are destroyed because their impiety provoked the Almighty God. Hence, they will reject their gods who are unable to help them. That is how the majesty of the Lord is celebrated. It is clear that their purpose, that the purpose of the prophecy is to point to the mystery of Christ and to remind about the coming salvation in him. Now, when the preaching of the holy apostles, which leads the nations from the idolatry to the grace of Christ, is spread to the ends of the earth, Then, he says, 
they shall cry aloud from the sea, that is, all the nations of the world. Psalm 21 In your strength the king rejoices, O Lord, and in your help how greatly he exults. You have given him his heart's desire, and have not withheld the request of his lips. For you meet him with rich blessings, you set a crown of fine gold on his head. He asked you for life, you gave it to him, length of days for ever and ever. His glory is great through your help, splendor and majesty you bestow on him. You bestow on him blessings for ever, you make him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord, and through the steadfast love of the Most High he shall not be moved. Your right hand will find out all your enemies. Your right hand will find out those who hate you. You make them like a fiery furnace when you appear. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and fire will consume them. You will destroy their offspring from the earth, and their children from among humankind. If they plan evil against you, if they despise, devise mischief, they will not succeed, for you will put them to flight. You will aim at their faces with your bows. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your power. This ends our readings. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, Lord God, to prepare the way of your only Son. By his coming, nurture our growth as people of repentance and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to our everlasting life. Amen. I wish you a blessed day and look forward to seeing you tonight for the night prayer.